Hi everyone, today we're looking at something different. This renowned pair of monitoring headphones provide exceptional quality, detail and accuracy. Beating out the competition in its price range even today, nearly 30 years since its original launch back in 1991 all for less than $100. These are the Sony MDR7506 monitoring headphones. Today, I'm gonna to take you through the unboxing as well as a detailed look at the design as well as feature set, followed by a thorough analysis of the sound quality, all to help you decide whether this pair of headphones is for you. Let's start off with the unboxing. I am really excited to finally have a pair of these. It is not often I get to review a tech product that is older than me. Immediately when looking at the box, it is already clear that this is not your typical pair of headphones. Included, we have a quick start guide. Then we have the headphones resting in this polyester cloth, almost like a pillow. Included, we also have a carrying bag, very basic, but is still nice to have. Unwrapping the cable, we can see just how long and coiled the cable is, making it great to plug into a computer or amp that is further away, also giving you more room to move while you work. Finally, we get a quarter inch adapter. Now at this point, I want to stress that these headphones are not meant to be used, say, plugged in your iPhone to listen to music while you commute to work. Instead for this, I suggest something like the Soundcore Q20s that I reviewed previously. Instead, these headphones are meant for monitoring. It is the impeccable clarity and unbiased sound signature that allows you to hear vocals, instruments, or whatever you're listening to in the way that it was meant to be heard. Now with that in mind, let's take a closer look at the design and features. The design of these headphones has remained basically unchanged over the past years, and that clearly shows. From the flat, sharp angled ear cups, the shiny faux leather padding, to the silver studio monitor label on the headband. Whether this is your style or not, what is undeniable is that these headphones have character and are easily recognizable. Let me know in the comments what you think of the design. Additionally, from the design, you can tell that these headphones are built to be a tool to help you work and that is meant to last, as seen by these exposed Phillips head screws. Many parts of the 7506 are actually user replaceable, such as the ear cups and the headband. Now I really appreciate this, as this is something you don't really see every day, especially now. The 7506s feature a mostly plastic build, but as you can see are sturdy and definitely offer plenty of stretch. I would expect these to fit both larger as well as smaller size heads. The ear cups sit angled slightly forward to more naturally sit over the ear. The ear cups also swivel just enough from side to side to adjust to your ears. For my ears, I found the ear cups to sit over my ears. However, I do notice that the back of my ear does slightly touch the ear cup. Now this is by no means uncomfortable, but it's something to bear in mind if you have larger ears. The headband has some padding and effectively takes the weight off the ear cups when resting on your head. Additionally, as someone who wears glasses, I am pleased to say that the 7506s are quite comfortable. Unlike some other headphones, they don't clamp down too hard on my glasses frame. The padding on the ear cups is decent. It is relatively soft, but not as comfortable to wear as say memory foam, as seen on some other headphones, as this will actually mold to the shape of your head and ear. Additionally, the faux leather on the ear cups does feel a bit on the thinner side, but thankfully these can easily be replaced down the road should you need to. In testing when wearing these headphones for several hours at a time, I have found it to get a little bit warm under the ear cups over time. That said, in terms of noise isolation, the 7506s perform very well. I was quite impressed by how well it's able to cancel out noise across all frequencies coming around me and that is even without any music or anything playing, and of course, no form of ANC. It's quite impressive. For storage, the ear cups fold in and up. This way, they can be stored in the included carrying bag. The carrying bag, although quite simple, it does have a soft microfiber lining on the inside to protect the headphones while traveling. I really like the portability factor of these headphones, making it so easy to throw them in a bag and take them with you. The cable is non-detachable. I would have preferred to see this modular not just for longevity, but also to be able to have the option to adjust the cable length with different cables. Now the cable is plenty long, coming in at 1.2 meters or just about 4 feet, and because it is coiled can be stretched even further. The cable feels very sturdy and high quality, 
Although since it is quite long and because it connects to only one ear cup, does mean at times it can be a little bit heavy pulling to one side of the ear cup. One area of the design I'm a bit unsure about are the exposed wires that run from the ear cups to the headband. While this is all very sturdy and well made, I feel this would have been even more protected had this cable been run internally. Again, these headphones have a very unique style and look that I personally quite like. It is clear that these belong in a professional environment. But how do they sound? Speaking as someone who regularly edits and mixes dialogue, music, and effects in video editing, I found the sound profile to be quite neutral, with slight emphasis on the upper mids and higher frequencies. At first, if you are not used to listening to monitors, these may sound a bit different, as typically, headphones have a tendency to emphasize the lower frequencies, which in many cases can overpower the other frequencies. This is not the case here. Highs are crystal clear, allowing for the smallest details in vocals to come through, or sounds like, for example, glass breaking to sound incredibly true to life. The mids are clean and well separated from the highs and lows. In terms of lows, the 7506s provide a real kick with deep and punchy bass, crucially while not overpowering the other frequencies. I'm pleased to say that the highs, mids, and low frequencies are all very clearly separated and equally present. What this allows for is very strong instrument separation when listening to audio tracks. Although not one of the main selling points of these headphones, the soundstage is decently wide, and the noise isolation that I mentioned before does help contribute to the level of immersion. These headphones allow you to hear detail and nuances that you simply otherwise would not hear. For example, the subtle exhale at the end of a sentence, or the slight pop in vocals. This is what makes them so great for mixing, and for me whilst editing and working with multiple audio sources. This lets me gauge how all the audio sources sound together, but also lets me set the audio levels so that the audience's focus remains on the sound that I want. Additionally, when editing audio with these headphones, I no longer have to test the audio on different, normal headphones and speakers. Instead, as long as the audio sounds balanced on the 7506s, I know that it is balanced correctly, without any strong bias towards a particular frequency. Now, this will actually save me time in my editing workflow. Now, do bear in mind, if you are listening to poor audio quality, due to the clarity and detail of the 7506s, it may seem like the audio sounds worse, but this is not the case. Instead, these headphones are so accurate to a point where the difference between good and bad audio quality will become even more apparent. This really makes you appreciate good audio quality even more. They also get very loud. When using them with my MacBook Pro, I find 30% volume to be plenty. When listening to the 7506s, you hear the sounds as they are meant to be heard. In fact, there's a decent chance the person mixing the sounds used the same pair of headphones to create the track. So who are these for? If you're into sound mixing, podcasting, video editing, radio or recording studios, or any environment where you need accurate sound, the 7506s for less than $100 are a must have. There's a reason why the 7506s have become and still are the industry standard, used and recognized all over the world. And it is not because Sony keeps adding the latest and greatest features. Instead, it is because these stay true to what makes them so great, and that is providing sound quality unlike any other headphones in its class. As always, the purchase links for the 7506s can be found in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, be sure to leave them down below, and I'll see you in the next video.